Have you ever traveled to a foreign country and noticed that there are things that they do better there than compared to your home country? After living in London for four years as an American expat, there are certainly things that I feel the British do better than Americans. Make sure you watch till the end of the video when I discuss the one healthy thing that I'm not sure which country does better and the one thing that I think Americans clearly have taken global ownership of. Keep in mind, these are just my opinions based on my experience living in London, which I know doesn't represent the entire UK. We'll start with driving. New York City, LA, Detroit all have really great drivers. But the thing I notice about the British is they really excel when it comes to giving way. To me, it seems the British are far more likely to stop and let somebody go who's trying to turn against traffic than we are in the US. The whole concept of roundabouts instead of stop signs works really well here. I don't know if it's just the small roads or general lack of space to begin with, but in comparison to Americans, I find British drivers far less aggressive and much less selfish. Next, I just love afternoon tea. My blog has tons of reviews of the best places in London where I suggest you go. The whole idea of taking a break in the afternoon and enjoying finger sandwiches and pastries and scones to me is just genius. That brings us to eating in general. British people have a very keen appreciation for food. However, they don't tend to overindulge nearly as much as stereotypical Americans. In my experience, British people seem to demand food that is very fresh and has little preservatives. Their table manners also blow the table manners of Americans away. Tradition, let's face it. Even though the royal family has modern princes like William and Harry, when it comes to the old spirit of class, ceremony, and manners, I feel the British do it better. In terms of moving a literary character into an epic movie, again, I'm going with the British. Think about King Arthur, Sherlock Holmes, James Bond, that's just a few. I'd love it in the comments if you can name other British characters that have really rocked the silver screen too. I have an entire video dedicated to the tipping system here. I'll put the link in the description below. I absolutely love it. Every time I return to America, I'm reminded of how awkward the tipping process is when I receive the bill in a restaurant. Pin like and share this video if you found it valuable. Subscribe to The Sunny News so you don't miss any future videos about travel tips, expat news, and fun things to do in London. One thing I can't decide on is health care between the two countries. I know British people love the NHS because it's free, but I just don't have enough experience with the NHS in the time that I've lived here to make a really solid opinion. I do know anytime I have used the NHS, it has taken a very long time. However, because I've lived in London for four years, I haven't been able to keep up with what's been happening to the American healthcare system, and I do know it's changed quite a bit. So much so that the British people that I know who live in America, who have been there for decades, are considering coming back to England because of the NHS and feeling that it is now better than the American healthcare system. Be sure to leave in the comments your ideas about healthcare systems, especially if you have experience with both. Something I think Americans definitely do better than the British is inventing social media networks. I'm guessing because you're watching this YouTube video that you might care a little bit about social media. So think about it. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, and Pinterest were all invented by Americans. I'm sure there's other things that you can think of that maybe I've left out that British people do better than Americans and vice versa. There are things that Americans do better than the British. Put it all down below in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.